everyone, WordPress is highly customizable due to its open source nature. Well, the WordPress theme is made up of template files which are also referred to as the WordPress source code. They include the raw theme PHP files and also the CSS and the JavaScript of your WordPress website. As a WordPress website owner, being able to customize these source codes according to the need plays a very important role. And the best part is that in WordPress, editing these source codes comes in very handy. Thus, in today's video, let's take a look at how to edit WordPress source codes. I'm Aparna Sundha from LearnWoo and let's get started. To edit the WordPress source codes, we will be using two different but easy ways. Number one is by using the WordPress theme editor. And second one is by using a file transfer protocol or FTP client. Now let me first show you how to edit the WordPress source codes by using the WordPress theme editor. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, appearance, theme file editor. Now here in the theme files, you can find different source codes in different forms. Select the file that you want to edit and here make the changes in the source code. Once done, click update file. And then your file will be successfully updated. Similarly, you can make as many changes as needed in the source code with the help of WordPress theme editor. Let's now move to the second method, which is by using a file transfer protocol or FTP client. In this method, we will be using FTP client FileZilla. For that, first download and install FileZilla. Once installed, go to FileZilla, enter the host address, username, password and port number. Now click on quick connect. In case you don't have FTP credentials to your site, you can contact your web hosting provider. Once connected, you will have access to all your files on the server. Now select the file that you want to edit. Now navigate to the directory and select the file whose source code you want to edit. Right click on it and select view or edit. Now your file will be downloaded to the system and will be viewed on the notepad. Here you can edit the source codes. Once all the changes in the source code are done, click the close button. Now a new pop-up will appear stating the file has changed and will ask for permission if it should be uploaded back to the server or not. So now click yes. Now your file will be sent back to the server and all your changes will now be live. And that's all. This is how you can edit WordPress source codes in two easy ways. Do let us know in the comment section which method worked for you the best. We would love to hear from you. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.